steel shutter going down. If I'd said that in an American university here, somewhere in the United States 10 years ago, there would have been a handful of you in here. Now you are many. We are many. Yeah, students for justice in Palestine. So, so this is, this is uh, my love letter to SJP all over the country. And you should actually be honored when you are slandered. You should be honored when you are libeled. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you stand in a long tradition of freedom fighters in this country, many of them students and those of your age who decided and made a choice to stand up even if they were alone. When we look at many of our leaders now, and you look at the Angela Davises of the world, you look at the Diane Nashes, the Ella Bakers, the Dr. Martin Luther Kings, the Congressman John Lewis's, and all these folks, you see them as old people. Seriously. Because we see them now and today. These people were 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, when they decided to stand up for you. And did you ever wonder, with an opposition that is well resourced, that they would decide to target poor college students? Like, you know what I'm saying? What I, like, this is really something that has been beyond me. The lawsuits, the slander campaigns, the, the, the opposition from administrations, all of this just leads me to one conclusion. You are on the right side of history. And they may not, you may not be loved right now, but I will guarantee you, 20, 30 years from now, people will look back and say, that's how we got justice. That's how the student movement flared up across the country, and it was under the leadership of those who were courageous and brave and committed and joined students for justice in Palestine.